Today, I was asked to talk about how to intensify our sadhana in our daily life. Well, one, one experience happened in my life that really taught me how to intensify the sadhana. So I was hit with a bout of depression when I was 19 years old, and I didn't know how to cope up with it. It was like, it was like this hollow emptiness, and I didn't know why I felt this craziness because it was unexplainable, it was causeless, because everything was going great in my life up until that point. My grades were booming, my health was fine, my, I didn't have any financial troubles because my parents took care of everything. So I had everything going for me. So when I was hit with this bout of depression, I didn't know how to deal with it. Um, and on top of that, I was also having nightmares. And it was like nightmares of things that I thought I, uh, thought I had already worked through it, but they were coming up in flashes as nightmares and I didn't know how to deal with it. So I turned to God. You know, I, tr I tried to do bhajans, I tried to do meditation, nothing was working. I went to therapy, nothing was working. I went to a psychiatrist. They decided they're gonna put me on antidepressants, but I was like, no, you know, I really wanna rely on God. But um, at that point, I still didn't know how to deal with it. Uh, so I chose not to take up the medications and I chose, it, chose to rely on God completely. And at this point, uh, I was prompted by a dear friend who, uh, who told me about the Sai Satcharitra. She told me, if you read the Sai Satcharitra, maybe you will be healed. So I decided that I was going to read it, but I didn't have a book. I didn't have that book. So we decided that we were gonna watch a movie of the Shirdi Sai life story. And as soon as I watched it, that was the first night that I slept in peace. Like complete peace, no nightmares, nothing. And the following days after that, my depression completely subsided. And I didn't understand. Thank you so much, yes. So that's exactly what happened. That is the miracle that Swami works through. But it didn't stop there. So while I was going through that depression, it was a chore for me to live day by day. It was a miracle that I was even living. Like I was, I was asking myself, I was convincing myself, just take this one day at a time. And because of that, I did not study. It was hard for me to study. So my grades fell. And every action has a consequence, right? So. My GPA fell, my grades fell, and I failed three science classes. And as luck would have it, my university had just enacted a rule that if you fail more than three science classes in a row, you will be taken down from the program of all science programs. So I was completely in shock when I realized that I could no longer take science classes anymore. That was the end of my medical school dream and all my aspirations to serve in healthcare. I didn't know what to do, but at the time I was reading the Bhagavad Gita and, Swami, and Lord Krishna, and it says that career and everything in life is impermanent, that the only thing permanent is God. So I decided to, you know, realize, I, I decided that to accept it, I decided to accept my fate and decided to just change my career. So I changed my major a few times, but my inner voice kept saying, no, you're gonna do science. You're gonna do science no matter what. But I kept ignoring it because the university would not let me take science classes, right? So how is that gonna be possible? Um, so I decided to go with religious studies at one point. I, I clicked with it, but nothing worked out. I then switched to anthropology, nothing worked out. I kept switching my major, nothing worked out. And during this time, my grades continue to fall, continued to fall. So, what ended up happening was that my university kicked me out. But my inner voice just kept saying, no, you're gonna do science classes, don't even worry. I'm like, how is this even possible? So uh, at this point, I had no university to go to. So I decided to go to my community college and decided to finish my degree there. And as luck would have it, there was a biology degree uh, that was offered in my community college. So I decided to take it and my grades shot up, my GPA shot up. and it was for the first time that my passion returned and my inner voice was right. 
I was trying, I was doing my science classes and everything was working out for me. But what ended up happening was that the university came back to me and they said, hey, we're so happy that your GPA is so good that we're gonna ask you to come back, but you're not gonna be able to do science classes here. So at this point I was like, what am I gonna do? Like my, my inner voice kept saying, no, you're gonna do science. But the university kept saying, nope, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do it. <laughs> so what, what am I supposed to do at this point? So I just, I was gonna have a mental breakdown, but all of a sudden I heard Swami speak through my heart. And he said, you are going to, you are going to graduate with a biology degree in the main campus auditorium and you are going to do just even if they say no it doesn't matter whatever i say is going to happen and all of a sudden i saw a vision of swami showing me that wearing a cap and gown in the auditorium receiving the biology degree diploma from the dean of the university and I was left in shock because I was like, how is that gonna happen? <laughs> because this university just kept saying no. So I even called them. I was like, hey, are there any loopholes? Are you sure you're not letting me do any science classes? Not even one. And they said, nope. So I didn't know what to do, but I surrendered to Swami at that point. I was like, listen, if you're gonna give me this vision, then you're gonna have to fulfill it. Somehow, some way, I don't know how, but you're gonna have to do it. And next thing I knew, two days later, I found out that there was another campus from the same university that was actually closer to my house that had just started a biology degree program. So, and they took me, they, they accepted me with no qualms. So I decided to go there and I finished my entire biology degree curriculum with perfect GPA, everything was great. And as I was graduating, I was about to graduate during the summer and because the graduating class was so small during summers, they, make us go to the main campus to have a graduation ceremony there. <laughs> so I ended up graduating in that exact same auditorium that Swami showed me, in that exact same cap and gown, receiving the same exact biology degree diploma from that dean that I saw in the vision. And it was exactly I was able to fulfill Swami's vision, but it wasn't me that did it. Swami showed me the way, he guided me, and he made it happen. So how do we intensify our sadhana in our day-to-day -day life? It's not about how many times you chant the mantra or how loud you chant or what's, what mantra you're gonna choose. It's about with what sincerity and with what faith you, have, you can have to chant to call out his name and with sincere yearning. When you, when you do that, God responds. And so I urge you guys to listen to that inner voice because it's there to guide you. You just have to surrender and have faith that he will come through and he will make it happen. No matter how many good and bad in the world happen, he will, take, he will carry you in his arms knowing that he will take you there. So thank you.